Hi everybody, I wanted to share the news about our embryos, how many we have, how many we transferred, and how many we have cryo and cryo that are frozen. But each embryo was given a grade, so I figured I would give you some basic information about what that grade means. So on Monday we had two embryos that are shown right here, aren't they the cutest little blobs? So they were transferred on Monday, it was a fresh transfer. And then on Tuesday afternoon we got a call with a report that an additional two embryos made it to the freeze, made it to cryo-freeze, which means that we can attempt to use those two eggs, two embryos, for future pregnancies. So when they when when they watch the embryos, they watch them overnight. They watch them on day one to tell you how many fertilized. Then they they do a grading on day three of growth and then day five. So what they do is they watch how they expand. They watch the you know the cells and how they divide and they watch quite a few things and. The grading, there's a couple different grading scale, and my office uses this grading scale. Um, they give either um, an AA, an AB, an AC, and other other forms. So these these two embryos got a grade of AB. So, and I'll explain it to you. So first, they grade on inner cell mass quality. That's the inner cell mass you see right here. The inner cell mass will actually is what will be the future fetus, which means the fact that we have an A for inner cell mass quality, which means that it should, if if we have implantation, that we should have all of the factors and components of a healthy child with 10 fingers and 10 toes, things like that. It doesn't mean that there won't be genetic factors. It doesn't mean any of that. It just means that from what they can see, it has all of the factors that should, should develop into a healthy fetus, which means a growing fetus. So then here we have the grading for the trophectoderm. So the trophectoderm is the outer cell mass you can see right here. Okay, so what that does is the trophectoderm quality is in charge of implantation, and the trophectoderm will actually create a, a large portion of the placenta. So you're looking at proper nutrition for your growing baby. So there's a, like I said, there's a lot of different factors, but those are the main two. Those are the main two factors that really really matter. And kind of a fun fact, the trophectoderm right here, they can actually do genetic testing by sucking out a, a group of cells from that trophectoderm, and then they laser the egg off. It's so cool. So they suck in a portion of this, and then they laser it back together, and like nothing ever happened. And then they send that off for genetic testing. They can, um, they can test for genetic factors that, you know, uh, they can you can know if your baby is going to be a male or female and I've heard rumors, not quite sure if this is true or not, but that you can actually um, in some labs figure out some characteristics of your child like um, eye color and hair color and things like that. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know if that's completely true but that's what I've heard and it sounds you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me, but th those things make sense to me. Um, so we decided not to do genetic testing, but genetic testing is really common for people that um, are older and want to make sure that they only transfer the highest, highest quality of embryos um, for a successful pregnancy. Um, the last thing that your doctor wants to do is just put in some embryos and see what happens. They, they want only the best chances of a, of a successful pregnancy. So, our two fresh embryos were A, B, which means the inner cell mass quality was good, was the, the best that they want to see, 
and then B for the tre um, trifecta germ quality, which means implantation, um, good good nutrition via the placenta and things like that. So that's a pretty good looking embryo. If we had an A C, that means you would have a, a good looking inside but might have problems implanting. Or for example, if you had an A with a trifectoderm but a you know a B or, or C in the inner cell mass quality, it means that the egg would implant, has a really good chance of implanting, but later on down the road maybe a blighted ovum or some other problem with the pregnancy. So it kind of um, it's kind of interesting when you when you think about the the many the many many things that have to go right for a successful pregnancy. So um, these are just the factors for the embryo and Peyton. Good morning, Peyton. Peyton is here helping me this morning, right? <laughs> so so that's our fresh embryos, and then our frozen embryos have a grade of B B. Which means they're average. They're, it's not bad. It's not. It's not ideal, but it's not bad. Which means the inner cell mass quality is looking okay, and then the trifectoderm is looking okay, and the BBs have a very good rate of pregnancy. Um, the AAs have a have a very high rate of pregnancy, and I figure with our fresh with the ABs, I think that's doing pretty good. So. Um, I hope that wasn't confusing. I tried to keep it pretty simple. There's a lot more factors that go into it, but those are just the very the very main ones. And so yeah, so we have two A B embryos hopefully nestling in. Today is today's Wednesday and I'm going to be on bed rest until about this sometime this afternoon and then I'll finally hop up and take a shower. Um still take it really easy. But, um, yeah, so hopefully they've implanted by now or are implanting today, which would be amazing. So uh, prayers and well wishes are appreciated. And ask me questions, and I'll do my best to answer. Bye, guys.